I do have those 360 degree views all the way around and there is some amazing colour in the sky. Hello and good morning. It's very, very early. I've dragged myself out of bed to go on another landscape photography mission. Today I'm heading over to Filey, which is on the east coast, and there's a part of Filey called Filey Brig, which is a little sort of bit of headland that juts out into the water, and I'm hoping to capture a really beautiful seascape sunrise shot. I think it's going to be good. The weather's looking good. It's probably going to be the sort of day where there's not many clouds in the sky, so I think my opportunities to capture a great image are going to be very early on. I'm looking forward to the day. I've got a bit of a journey ahead of me, so let's go. have arrived there already is some really nice color in the sky so i'm going to get down there as quick as possible to start capturing some shots as many photographers will know or particularly landscape photographers and if you've been enjoying this channel for a while and you see me getting out and about these early mornings do not get any easier 3 30 alarm clock this morning a long drive and it's hard work but when you're welcomed with scenes I like have in front of me, it is all worth it. Right, I need to get into position because I'm worried that colour is going to disappear pretty quickly this morning. I think my opportunities are going to be really early on. Right, I'm in position, I'm working up a little composition here. It isn't the composition that I've wanted, but I'm starting to lose the colour in the sky, even though it's about 45 minutes before sunrise. But what I'm doing, I've got the camera on the tripod here, and I've done a couple of things already. I, I'm using the headland here as my lead-in to the sun rising and the colour in the sky over there. I'm on F8 because of my foreground interest is actually quite far away from me so I can get that maximum sharpness out of the lens at f8. I am at ISO 100 as always with landscape photography and then I've tried a couple of things. I've gone with a six stop filter and I've bracketed that. I want to smooth out the water just a little bit to get just to add a little bit of interest to the image and just smooth it out and make it a bit of a nicer image. That's worked quite nicely but the Z is quite rough so I've then gone with the 10 stop filter as well and gone for an exposure of about three minutes which will smooth out that very rough sea. I think it will work but I'm quickly losing the colour in the sky the reds and the pinks are already starting to disappear but that's the beauty of long exposure during sunrise and sunset is that as the colour changes in the sky you're capturing all of that in the long exposure so your final image will have more colour than you can actually see at the time. I think it will be a good shot. It's not like I said, it's not quite the composition I wanted. I would have liked to have got a bit closer down onto the beach but by the time I get down there I'm pretty certain the colour would have gone and the sea's a bit rough so to be honest this morning I don't really fancy it. I don't want to get washed into the sea this morning and I've got a nice enough composition up here so Hopefully it will work. <laughs> it's 
So it's one of the things I really love about landscape photography, especially when you're shooting sunrises, because you spend the previous evening or day thinking about it, you get all your kit ready, and then you head out way before dawn, especially if you've got a bit of a journey like I have done this morning. You're sometimes rushing to get into position, and then all of a sudden, it's over. Whereas when you're going for a sunset, unlike some of my other vlog trips, you're building up, you're building up, you're building up, you're taking shots, you're taking shots, and then right at the end of the day, you get the shot. Sunrise, totally different, opposite way around, right at the start, you're doing it. I'm gonna go and get into position right on the top of Filey Brig here. I'm also just capturing a time lapse for the sunrise as well, so that should be pretty cool. So I'm at the top of Filey Brig. The sun is rising, but apart from this little bit behind me, I do have those 360 degree views all the way around. And there is some amazing color in the sky. Getting up and getting out at this time of the morning just feels brilliant. The fresh sea air, the bit of breeze, the light, the colour, the well-being is just, it's invaluable. We all feel down sometimes, but making an effort, getting out like this, just gives you such a boost, such a good feeling that is now going to set me up for the day and for the weekend. It's Friday today, it's also my birthday, but don't wish me happy birthday because by the time you see it, it won't be anymore. That was amazing. Uh, such a frantic few minutes of activity and it's just brilliant, absolutely brilliant. But I'm back on the top now and I'm working up another, another little composition, this time using some of these daffodils that are just down here as the sun has risen now and they've got some of that golden light that you can see on my face and that's hitting the daffodils. And I'm just gonna use a couple of sets of daffodils to lead you in to the sun and the sea in the distance. So for this shot, I know you want to me to talk about settings a bit more in these videos, so here we go. For this shot, I'm shooting it vertical, just because the composition works better in a vertical. So I'm going for F16 because the daffodils are quite close, so I want to maximize the depth of field as much as possible without losing any sharpness. And then I'm also bracketing it's because there's quite a big change in exposure between the ground and the sky. And I'm, again, I'm at ISO 100. It's gonna tell a nice little story of this area, a little bit of spring, and hopefully you'll like it. <laughs> Right, I've come over to the other side of the brig and I'm determined to get a daffodil shot today. I want to tell the story of Filey Brig in the spring and there's nothing says spring like a daffodil. So I think now I've found a pretty nice composition. I've got the camera set up behind me with the with Filey and a bit of the sea in the background going into Filey Beach. And there's also these beautiful daffodils on this bank leading you in to that shot. And I think it's gonna work really, really nicely. What I need though is for the sun just to come up a little bit more. You can already see it on my face, but I need it just to come up a little bit more and start to light up these daffodils. If that happens, that will be a really nice shot. I've got the circular polarizer on there to take some of the sheen off the water. And also the six stop filter is on there. The six stop ND filter to smooth, extend the exposure time and smooth out the water just a little bit. I don't wanna do any more than six stop because if the exposure time was any longer, I'd see too much movement in those daffodils in the wind and that I think would spoil the shot. But I think it will work as a nice little composition to tell the story of spring. Right, so I'm just capturing the time lapse that will end this video. This morning has just reminded me how great it is to get out and shoot landscape photography. I've been here again pretty much by myself because if I'd done it next weekend, it would have been an hour later as the clocks go forward, but I've made the effort to get up this morning and get out and I've captured some great images 
made the most of the good weather, the nice sunrise, and I then have the full day ahead of me because it's still relatively early. Most people probably aren't even out of bed yet, and I've already achieved some great work and created some nice images. And the reward is I've then got the rest of the day to be productive in other ways. I don't think I'm gonna capture any more landscape photography today because the sun's gonna be high and bright in the sky and conditions aren't perfect, but there's a lot of other things I can get done with that time. It's been a brilliant morning. I've had such a good time. The feeling of well-being, like I was saying, is high. And that's one of the beauties of landscape photography. So I hope you've enjoyed the video. I'm gonna end the vlog there. Please do subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. I am putting videos out every Sunday now, some vlogs, landscape photography vlogs, and then the odd video during the week. I'm not guaranteeing I'm gonna do a video on Wednesdays anymore, but I hope you can appreciate that. Leave a comment down below and let me know what you think, and I will see you on another video very soon. I'm Adam, this is First Man Photography in Filey, out. Yeah.